Do you know what I had to do to get here, Lil B? I love it, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy here now. I'm happy I'm here, too. <laughs> um, so they were doing the cook. I just learned there prior. Somebody taught me how to do it. I didn't know about that shit. You know, I'm from East Side, and I just saw all, like, I can't believe when I was on Twitter, the amount of followers that you have through, through, the, through your music. How do you, how do you feel about that? Man, you know, I feel like it's a blessing, and I'm very humble for it. You know, it's great that a lot of people are growing and growing more and more to see me, and um, the network's growing and, and the influence is growing, and I'm going to make sure I use the powers right. Yeah, the one thing that I did notice when I did go through your stuff was that you said a lot of positive things, and I like that. A lot of people, when they're coming in, they don't really do that. They do it afterwards, after they win the awards. That's when they want to thank God and stuff like that, you know, when it's already, like, there, you know? So that's, that's something that I just wanted to say about that. Um, as far as your music and stuff, if there's something... Is there one thing that you want to clarify about yourself that you think that is misunderstood? Um, that I'm a very positive guy and um, that my core message and foundation of why I do music is to bring people together in a positive, um, you know, in a positive environment, you know, keep people safe. And, um, you know, just really trying to stop violence and stuff and, you know, just, just go in. As much as I rap about whatever, you know, that's my core value. My core value system while I'm rapping is to be positive, to get people together, and to have safe environments. Okay, so as far as your music and all that, you know, that, that's kind of like that. You can go into politics with that. Besides music, what else are you trying to get yourself into? Um, you know, really, I'm going to be doing movies, um, you know, directing, acting, um, you know, very big in art. You know, the art scene, I'm very respected within the art community and just the, 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 the fashion community. A lot of tats, yeah. yeah, thank you. And, um, you know, just a lot of people that, you know, really care about just artists in general and, and thinkers and, and people that like to create. I love to create in all different ways. And I definitely want to express myself in the ways possible and learn new ways and respect it. You know what I mean? Right, like, like right. if, you, if you feel something, I definitely want to respect and learn what you got. You know what I mean? Right. And so like, it's all about living, learning, and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, if there were three people you can meet, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? I want to meet Prince. Prince. I want to meet Rick James. And I want to meet um, Anthony and the Johnsons. Anthony and the Johnsons. Yo, I like that's a dope. That's a dope. That's a dope ass list right there. Prince itself. Oh, my homegirl JJ, she would love that. She's like a Prince fan all the way. You know about Anthony? You know about Anthony? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not gonna even lie. I don't. I don't even lie. I don't. I really don't. <laughs> but who is that? Put me on. No, man. Anthony and the Johnsons, man. No lie. This is how I found out, man. I was on a whole nother level when I broke down the barriers and really worrying about what other people think and shit like this. Anthony Nia Johnson is like a, uh, I think he might be gay. You know, he's a gay artist. All right. Yeah, no, it's, it's okay because, you know, the music and the emotion and the death where he comes from, you know what I mean? I love it and I love his honesty and I love his truth. You know what I mean? So I just want to work with any honest artist that is truthful and, and loves, you know what I mean? And loves the craft. Okay, last question. Now, this is some people, I don't know if you guys know, some people like to grow beards for reasons like for fasting, you know, they don't eat. But you, you keep the same pair of shoes, right? Can you please tell me about that, Lil B? Because I can see, like, you're, it's not like you're crazy, you're not. You know, people think Lil B's crazy, he's not. He's completely down to earth, nice guy, humble. <laughs> yeah. I'm crazy. Yeah, yeah, I'm tell cool. Tell me about the shoes. Can we get a close up of the shoes? This is the shoe, the famous shoe. This shoe is gonna be be rich. I'm telling you, this shoe is gonna be worth something. But it's hold on. Worth forty five thousand. This shoe already goes for forty five grand. Wow, that's crazy. So, already forty five. And you're keeping those shoes on until you get what? First million, my first million dollars. Yo, so once you see me in some different shoes, you know I got I it. Know, you know I got it. I don't know. You better be careful. There's a lot of haters out there. You guys better fucking stay away. <laughs> Quit hating, man. You know it's all good. Like. You don't have to. You don't have. Uh, you don't have to lose for another person to win. That's right. Thank you so much, Lil B. And let them know when your album comes out. Man, you know, uh, January 18th, man. Angels Exodus dropping. You know what I mean. Go cop that out. You know what I mean. And you know we're gonna keep it moving. We keep it going. You feel me?